Lazy Goose here, and we're about to rewarp our loom, so I thought it would be a good time to talk about putting the heddles on the shaft bars and taking them off. Now, as you'll notice, I have two new shaft bars here, and yes, they are painted. Now, you might want to ask yourself, why in the world would you paint your shaft bars? And the reason is because we didn't really want to paint our heddles. The reason we didn't want to do that is because if you need to move heddles around, you may end up with, you know, shaft one heddles on shaft four and all sorts of craziness like that. It's also somewhat distracting to have all this color in your heddles and distracting from looking at your yarn. So I will admit that we colored near the, the eye of the heddles so that they were easier to thread between the eye of the heddle and not above or below the eye of the heddle. But that's all we've done is just highlight the eye of the heddle. So that's where in order to keep track without having to count shaft bars or you know that sort of thing, it was just easier to always look at the color and know which shaft we're on. Now the other thing I should point out is that these are not the original shaft bars that came with the loom. I made duplicate ones so that I would not ruin the original shaft bars because I know that there are people who are just freaking out right now. She painted her shaft bars. It's okay people. No shaft bars were harmed in the customizing of my loom. So now the other thing that we learned from Ravelry actually are, is this little trick here. We've got um, this string that holds the uh, heddles on. And the reason we do that is because if something like this happens, you see the heddles don't fall off. And yes, if it can happen, it has happened to our geese. So all you have to do is you take a loop that is made out of a piece of yarn that is twice as long as your heddle bars and a little bit longer just so that you can tie this knot over here. And this is just a simple overhand knot. You could use a square knot, whatever. But what we're going to do is just unhook it from this side and pull it out of the hole. And now you see our heddles will become free. Free heddles free. Okay, now I'm going to be very careful over here to put my fingers in the center of the loops so that we can keep all the heddles in order. Take that heddle bar out, and notice we do one heddle bar at a time. Okay, stick the new heddle bar in. There we go. And before we do anything with the other, I mean, shaft bar, not heddle bar, um, is take off our string here and re-thread onto the new shaft bar. Now one other thing you may note is that our new shaft bar has larger side holes. And that is so that it is much easier to get this string in. So not sure uh, where the origin of the size of those holes were, but since it seems to only be used for the string, I just made it a little bit larger. Okay, so now we're all taken care of there. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, the reason that there is this washi tape here is a, a previous attempt to color the heddle bars without painting it, and for whatever reason, my washi tape was not staying on very well even after spray uh, varnishing. Uh, the washi tape was a good idea but didn't work. Okay. So we're now going to repeat this on the other side here. Flip that out. Stick the finger in the hole. Okay. Stick this heddle bar through the hole. Take old heddle bar. Take the string loop off of there. 
and then re-thread the string loop here. And once this is done, all of our heddles will once again be very nice, very secure, and ready to go back, ready to go back onto the loom. But the nice thing is, is that there are no fasteners. I mean, this, this string here is a self-fastening deal. It's very protective and very inexpensive. Now, one thing to make it easier to thread, I've considered waxing the string, and I may still want to do that even with the larger holes. But in any case, you can see how fast and easy that is to just you know, change your uh, shaft bars or add or remove heddles from your shaft bars. You don't even need to be at the loom to do that. So as long as the heddles are not threaded, you could just do this at the table, wherever it's most convenient. So hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. Thanks.